What's up, everybody? Welcome to the studio. We're gonna do a little talk about our this past week, and the next week coming up, and a little bit about today and about current events and some Let's call this coffee stuff. talk. Stuff. It's our coffee talk of the week. Uh, it's not happening yet morning like normal because we actually went to a coffee shop which we'll get into coming up right here so uh yeah let's kick it off all right so basically this is what we're starting right now uh we have a coffee breakfast stop that we go to now um that is kind of like our spot. It's the Steamworks Golf. That's yeah. where we basically go. We've made mention to it in the past. Yeah, pretty much often. That's our spot. But what we're going to try to do is instead, at once a week at least, we're going to pick a place, kind of like a mom and pop place, not not like a chain. We're not going to Chili's and giving a review on that. No. We're going to find a place like for coffee or for, you know, um, breakfast or something like that. And then we're just going to come tell you what we thought about it. Yes. Yeah, so who so today we went to Gilbert's Coffee Bar in Stewart. In Stewart, right, right on, on the south of Roosevelt Bridge. Yes, right on the a little marina area where the sailboats are moored up and a bunch of boats are docked up. So you gotta you know, you get to sit outside and get this great view of the of the water and boats, especially those of you who are from Florida or a coastal area. It's kind of our thing. It's kind of a beautiful scenery. Yeah. Besides going to the ocean, you know, you also Very have the relaxed. marinas. And there's yeah. just something beautiful about rows and rows of yachts I could never afford and sailboats I would love to sail on. The sailboats moored off. In yeah. The and then people are taking their little boats out from the boat. From yeah, It's like a whole yeah, little it's... alternate world that uh, you don't see daily. On and I mean, sailboats are kind of thing, so of course you like it. Oh, I like it. There, you know, I have one on my arm. You have a sailboat on your arm? Well, it's a Viking ship, but it was more or less a sailboat. Yeah. Sailing vessel. It goes on the water. But, uh, yeah, I so, mean, being hey, uh, Scandinavian Viking heritage, I am very drawn to to traveling in, in the ocean and water. Traveling. And sailboats. and Taking boats, you know, pillaging yeah, villages, yes. burning them to the ground, sailing yes. the pretty women. Uh, you know, you take what you want. Yeah, I mean, if you're a Viking, that's pretty much what you get. <laughs> um, who picked it? Was it you or Haley? Were you guys? Uh, it was about my it? idea. Um, yeah. I actually thought it was in a different location um, on the north side of the bridge instead of the south side, but same general area. But I had seen it. Um, I was looking up coffee shops one day, and I, I saw it, and I thought, oh, that'd be cool. And Haley uh, loves going to coffee shops and trying yeah, out little hole in the wall places and, and stuff like that. So I had mentioned to her and we'd made plans, but the time she was here that I talked to her about it, she was leaving and it, it didn't work. So, uh, when she got down here this time, I didn't know what her schedule was. And I mentioned, it, I said, Hey, if we have time, we should do, you know, at least, you know, me, you and your dad or whoever wants to go should do a coffee morning where we go down. And I was thinking probably Monday, Yeah, but, but she, she wound up having to leave, to leave today. today. Uh, so we went down this morning, um, took a little bit larger group. Um, well, one extra person, yeah, uh, Jenny us. went. Yeah. So yeah, it was just the four of us. And uh, got some coffees, tried something new. I'd never had what they called, I don't know what it's really called, but yeah. they called it a uh, Mexican uh, chocolate mocha. Uh, a Mexican mocha coffee. So it was very spicy, almost had a little bit yeah. of heaty, like hot spiciness to it. Um, still yeah. had the chocolatiness. It was um, it was good. It was a hot coffee. Yeah, I've seen uh, I've seen people use Mexican chocolate, and I know that it has a bit of a spice to it. But based on what you were saying, it was a it was a little bit more than just a little bit. It was, oh yeah, it, it was, was, it was spicy. Kick. Oh yeah, it kick. I enjoyed it. Um, not, I can't. I don't know what chili they use, but I know that maybe um, I don't even know. If you know, let us know. But um, it's not. I wouldn't say it's a coffee that I would go back and get often. But it was it was definitely enjoyable. And, you know, maybe on the occasion, if, if I saw it somewhere and, you know, go, hey, why not? The biggest takeaway that I took from it is um, the coffee was, you know, it was above average. It's better than, you know, better than Starbucks. It's I a think cool little spot, too. It's, it's very nice. It's super clean. Um, it is, I guess you would call it, what would you call that, hip? It, kind of a hip place? It's kind of like a... Um, hipster coffee shop um, it's very um clean not, very not upscale a not not dank but and dirty like the thing that got me the most was it wasn't expensive it wasn't expensive it was right on the water it was small inside with minimal seating um, and then seating. a lot of outside seating right along the the 
the river wall right where the boats dock up and, and yeah. moor up and stuff. And then uh, they had a little around the corner, a little covered picnic area with a lot of tables and chairs. They, even there. Had, they had a fire pit. Um, we just sat right on the kind of more, it's not really the boardwalk, but it's like the. The water's edge. Yeah, just and, right, uh, just right off. off. And, and I loved it. I get to check out the catamarans and the sailboats, which are kind of my thing. The yachts are nice, but they don't have. I don't have quite as drawing. Now, Jenny loves the yachts because the thought of sailing doesn't really oh, well, appeal to no, her. No, I'm not going to say what I was going to say. That's what were you going to say? I'm going to say I'm a yacht guy, but you know I'm not going to claim anything she claims. Yeah, well, being a basic bitch, you would be the yacht guy. Damn right. I mean, I want to be in comfort. I don't want to have to work. I mean, you got to sit there and work and roll up the sails and do all the house. I want to just sit there and say, hey, go that way. Yeah. Um, I like the thought of being able to self-sustain. You got solar power with a battery bank. You've got your sails. Um, so you don't need the motor other than a little bit. So you, you, you spend a lot less. You leave a lot less of a footprint. Yeah. I just Not to sound like I'm a recycling overboard person, but. He refuses to recycle. He throws the. Uh, you know, bottles and glasses inside the garbage. He's like, no, not recycling. He's an environmental terrorist. I'm not going to get into all that recycling <laughs> shit and my belief on it. I'm just going to say I don't believe that it really saves any more pollution in the planet to recycle than to not due to all the diesels and all the equipment it takes to actually burn, melt down, and destroy all these products. Uh, I don't really know that it's saving much, but that's just my personal I belief for it. to find out. I don't know. Yeah, well. Either way, you'll probably find somebody. You can probably find highly educated people on both sides who can argue it one way or the other. So I don't think so. I think you're just argumentative. Such as life, you know, like the moon landing people. You think there's a moon? Yeah. I stole that. So, um, the coffee was good. It wasn't that expensive. Um, but it wasn't like for the price it was great because I mean it was like four dollars for you know a good sized coffee. But I, would you go back? Yeah, I, I would, would go back. I would without doubt. Um, it would not be a place that I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go yeah, back. Yeah, it's not. But I would go. It's not like Steamworks. Steamworks yeah. has great coffee, incredible coffee, and great food. But yeah. it's you know like if you're out and if about, you're hungry, I wouldn't go there. No. If you just want like maybe a biscuit yeah, so or a brownie or, or not a biscuit had, but a, a muffin or a brownie. Uh, the hipster toast, toast like like avocado toast and then like a peanut like a almond butter banana toast. Yeah, um, we didn't get that, um, but um, they had it. Haley got a muffin. How was your your caramel latte was that good it was, it was good, good. Right. i had a night we both had a nice caramel latte it was um it was i don't know how to explain it it was better than just like gas station like yeah. cheap stuff but it wasn't like it wasn't like um steamworks or it wasn't any place like you know real gourmet coffee it was good for what especially well, for mine was fancy it came in a nice yeah. there's all were in plastic containers yeah. if i'm right or yeah, it paper was a, it was a plastic mine was in a ceramic mug yep. um with a tr with a saucer it they you know they did that little artsy and creamy little for leaf or whatever you call it it was it definitely seemed kind of fancy to me but yeah. uh, you know it was nice it definitely is fancier than i require my coffee to be yeah it would be because you yeah. know if your coffee isn't, you know, extra creamy, don't need it to look pretty. It just tastes good. Yep. I like my coffee with either a lot of cream and as a dessert or black. He likes a lot of cream. He likes black cream. <laughs> I just winked. <laughs> You're just weird. So, um, we were, uh, actually, we were just talking to Brianne. Oh, so... So the girls are down from from school, and yesterday Brianne went to the beach, and she was all uh, all happy about being at the beach until today. You heard about all the sharks on the west coast? There were like thousands of sharks. I did. I did hear there was a surprisingly large number of shark attacks this last yeah, year on the on the just, coastal. Just yesterday there were three. Wow. And like that's a high number. Any in our area? No, it was all on the west okay. coast. They they recorded I think like an eighteen foot hammerhead shark from the air. Damn. I mean, usually, 
you know, six to eight. What's the average shark bites um, in, on on the U.S. coastlines I th- I in think a year? She said something like forty in a year. On average, for the U.S., like forty a year. And this year it was seventy or something. No, I I think yeah. I think seventy worldwide. Forty of them occur in the U.S. And yesterday, in one day, there were three. There was wow. a lady who lost either a hand and hand or an arm. A lady or someone lost an arm and a leg. Damn. And I don't remember what the third one was, but yeah, it's wild. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know what's going on. I know there's the La Nina. It is ungodly hot here right now. Yes. Um, and we Even live in, though the temperature isn't so high, it's just the humidity that jacks yeah. it so high. I mean, we live in Florida. We're used to hot and humid, but it is just unbelievable. Plus, as we've mentioned a couple times in many videos on here before, my air conditioner in my house isn't working. So we literally had to go buy portable air AC units uh, to put around the house until my rental company will fix it and it is unbelievably hot it's in and out 93 degrees here today with a real feel of 98 which anybody who lives in a, hum- uh, a high humidity state knows real feel That's, is what it feels like so it, it literally is pushing right up there close to 100 degrees which is is hot isn't our hottest but it's definitely it's definitely, not it's definitely hot, hot. I think it, to me it seems hot for this time of year. Like yeah, we should it, have had, we should have a little I mean, bit wait till more August. like low nineties, yeah. low or upper eighties. We went from comfortable, nice to just unimaginable, yeah. just like almost overnight. But that was the cool thing about oh, uh, down by the water. It was just breezy and like it wasn't, it didn't feel bad. It it felt nice. No, yeah, it's always nice by the water, especially if you're you're sitting in the shade on top of that. Yeah. Um, that is the one good thing I'll give Florida as opposed to like North Florida or the Southern Florida, South Florida or East or West Florida. As to North Florida or Georgia or up in that area where the humidity is yeah. still high, we get the ocean winds and yeah. the breezes that come in that that as long as you're not in direct sun makes it way more tolerable. Because I used to live in Tallahassee and Lake City area in the, in the center and it is same temperature with not... A wind, not nothing blowing, and Wind, so it's no just winds. it feels like you know it's hugging you, and you just start suffocating. You know, like I just came from Iraq, and we're up in you know in the mid, you know, close to getting to one ten. But that's like that Vegas. Heat. I will take Iraq heat. Yeah, because that's one super dry. Any day of the week over this shit here, this is unbearable. It's hard to breathe. It's literally like in soup. Yeah, the only bad thing about that kind of heat, as in like the Vegas and the out west heat, is that heat is very dangerous. Yeah, it as burns. far as dehydration, dehydration and then heat stroke. Burns your eyes yes. too a lot. I mean, like, so he, here's something to think about, guys. When you buy your sunglasses, make sure they're UV protected, even the cheap ones. You just make sure it says UV protected. Because we had a guy um, not too long ago who uh, got sent home because he was wearing cheap sunglasses and burned his eyes. He couldn't see. Huh. UV protection. I but you. I mean, like, I we you. in Florida know that. You know, it's the other it people around crazy. the world. Um, and another piece of news, we have a road right over here, uh, Veterans Memorial. So a couple months ago, there was a real tragic accident in the middle, of, like, towards maybe late night, where um, I think it was a, it was an SUV with a couple, with, like, four kids in it. And three of them, there was an accident hit a tree and three of them died. Yeah, there's there's all, all kinds of monuments out there right now. In the past two days, there's been accidents that have been fatalities. Yesterday and today. Huh. It just happened. And it's not like it's a crazy busy road. It's just a road with a curve. And yet... They, they take it too fast. They drive crazy down through there sometimes. I mean... Which is surprising because there was... I take that road... Probably two, three or four times a week on my way home from coming from back home from work, and there are always police perched up on that road in about three to four different locations. You'll pass them on a regular intervals throughout the week, so it doesn't make sense why anybody would even push the the boundaries on it. Like I don't like I'll all right. Four or five miles an hour. Sometimes I might push over, but it's it's a forty mile an hour road, so it's yeah. it's not a bad speed for for what it is. It's it's four lanes, but it's down through it, it does through have the neighborhood. Curve. Yeah. It does have that curve, but unless it's just started raining, it, it's there. Unless it, you, have all the accidents been on that curve, or have they I'm been down sure. closer to where the construction is now? Because that jams you up coming into that final curve I right know, before the post office. I know yesterday it was right at uh, Ventures Memorial Park. 
Like it hit, they hit a tree right by the park. Oh shit, I that mean, is that, weird. The the ballpark or the actual the, uh, veterans, veterans park? Memorial park. All right, yeah, because that's crazy. Because everybody knows there's usually two police setting up. Yeah, in there, inside the, the time. parking lot. Yeah, right up in the parking lot watching traffic. Shit, when I proposed to Amanda, there was a cop sitting in the parking lot. He was the first oh, person we told. That's crazy. And I was like, hey, she said yes, and he's like, oh, and he turned on the lights and stuff. Said congratulations. Interesting. There's always a cop in there. Yes. And so the enemy hides everywhere. <laughs> I mean, cops. I mean, cops. Enemies. Cop, I don't know what. Just slip um, in the tongue. In our county, like the the second most accident prone area in the entire county, used to be over by either KFC or um, Popeyes, right here on uh, Port St. Lucie yeah. Boulevard. After this year, I'm pretty sure Veterans Memorial is going to take it over. I mean, there's been accidents all over. I mean, <laughs> before I get a, a lot of comments in the. In the comment section, that's just a joke. It's you know, it's the thing I joke about being a biker that the cops are oh, the enemy yeah. because yeah, they're always looking out out, out after you. Yeah, but so that's I, because there's too many uh, a hole hooligans out there on bikes doing crazy shit that you know it, it gives us all a little bit of a bad. You know day. what's funny? I just saw I just heard this. You said a hole, yeah. and then you said you paused. You were like a hole hooligans, and they always do some dumb shit. It's like just say it, just let it out. We're going to let out some shit. So just say it. Don't even think about it. You got this. I don't know if I can. <laughs> um, assholes? Yeah, there you go. All right. So feels liberated. So proud. Liberated. Um, yeah. It's, I didn't it's, think I could fucking do that, but I just let that just, asshole ring that time. Just let it go, man. It's nice. Stop nicely holding done. back. Right. Just unleash the beats. But I mean, like, be careful. They said no unleash. need to be on the show. Well, I don't care. We sort of unleash we, the beast, but we, I'm pretty sure we have the technology to blur stuff out. Yeah, but he was slashing his nipples here earlier, so I don't know what he's talking about. Don't know that you want to blur out the whole screen when that beast gets loose, starts tearing around the room. <laughs> tearing around the room. It's got a mind of its own, ladies and gentlemen. Grar. <laughs> For some reason, oh. I'm just picturing uh, the yeah. Christmas story. It's like, it'll put your eye out. <laughs> Don't point that thing at people. It's dangerous. <laughs> Don't look at it. Don't look directly at it. At my age, it's liable to just go off. <laughs> so, the big news of the week. And uh, I said it before I left. Um, but as of this week, with... Hopefully, I'm you know able to do it because otherwise I'm going to feel really silly. I'm going to be a motorcycle rider. I'm taking my motorcycle safety course on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, and we're going to get my bike fixed up. And I'm going to be a rider. I told y'all I was going to do it. Don't worry, other bikers. We're going to take them under the wing. We're going to teach them how to ride safe and smart and uh, all that good stuff. Yeah. So. Um, so basically, ride the opposite I do. Yeah, pretty so, much. Yeah. Um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube, talking to him about it. Dan Dan the Fireman launched a l little bit of Blockhead and a couple of the other guys. But, um, yeah, it's uh, been watching him, listening to him, asking him all kinds of questions. Some of them are real silly. Well, for him. Welcome to WKKP Name Drop News. We're here to name drop as many people as we can today. Damn yeah, right. Joking. That's the way we do it. Just joking. I'm trying to get, you know, maybe if I say those key words, those viewers will come over maybe and be like, Maybe those hey. people will like us some more. No, I'm Yeah, just <laughs> like us. <laughs> no, but um, no. The, the reason I said that is because the one guy, he's no. all about safety and stuff. Right, and, I get you. Very and um, very much uh, very excited about it. I haven't shut up about it. Um, luckily, they've been uh, entertaining my future plans and listening to me do my dreamer thing. Uh, he did crush my dreams just a little bit, um, and that was when I was talking about getting a sport bike, and he just said, no, just yeah. no, you don't need it. And, you know, I was a little sad for a minute, you know, I had my, uh, you know, I don't even know. Listen, I don't, I don't tell people what to buy. You want to ride a sport <laughs> bike, buy a sport bike. I spent years on sport bikes before I ever got into Harleys um, or street bikes, I, you know, but I also know that... They're built to run, and you're going to do it. I don't care how strong or how yeah. disciplined you think you are. And I'm not saying every – I mean, maybe there's somebody out there that, that can do it. But I've never had friends or myself that have been able to stay out of a sport bike. They only run great one way. Yeah. And that's just all out. They're not comfortable bikes for, for and, slow cruises. And that's the thing that really has it. It's I'm, I'm 42 years old. I'm short. 
I'm not exactly thin, and riding a sport bike for especially any amount of time, leaned over, that's just... Well, that's, that's the things I told him. I said, look, you know, at our age, my, me being 10 years older than him, is that they're not built for the kind of rides at my age I want to do, which is yeah. I want to go out for a day to four days to, to a week. I, I don't care how long, but I want to be in the saddle all day just riding. And I'm, at the end of the night, I want to be able to get off, go to the restaurant, go to the bar, sleep, get up and do it again without being like, what the heck? And when I rode sport bikes, you would you would be aching. Your lower back yeah. would be aching from, from, you know, and your abs from holding your body up, you know. Now uh, that's even just to say if I can't if I would contain not being in the great fast not being in the greatest shape and at some point your abs start failing you because I'm a big boy and to hold your body up like you're supposed to with your core gives out after enough hours of maybe riding I'll and then you wind up putting a lot of pressure on your shoulders and elbows and your maybe wrists. Maybe I'll finally get my six pack. Maybe. I mean, we can go to the grocery store and get six pack right now. I don't know why you're making such a big deal out of that. But no, you see, have you seen the thing where the uh, yeah. where the guys they put the, uh, the like a fence or whatever and they paint it? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Or they shave the body hair. Oh yeah, that could work too. That could anyway. work too for sure. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't care what you ride. I just suggested that you know you'd probably be happier with the see, kind of riding we're gonna okay. do. You'll be more comfortable. He's saying this for you guys and happier. Because when I said every t every bike I point out that's a sports bike, he says that's a sports bike. Well, yeah, but the Just difference is there. You're you're my best friend. I'm going to tell you you don't need it because I know you. Yeah. You don't need it. <laughs> I definitely don't. But uh, yeah, I'm as of you know we got to get some work done on it right now. It's a Shadow Seven. It's a it's a learner bike. It's a yeah. Shadow Seven Fifty. It's the same one we use to for his son to learn on yeah it's it's pretty uh, much going to be the family learning bike yeah. whoever has then, yeah uh, we'll keep it, it and yeah. then it'll become whoever next in line who wants to learn how to ride it's a good decent little bike for just learning around town and yeah, we got a couple things that need to get fixed on it, it, it well that it was, was from down. that was from sean laying it down yeah. um he got cut off in traffic and it was either hit the back of the car or lay the bike down and let it slide yeah and he opted to let it slide out of traffic and Take a couple scratches, and maybe a little was, little bit of a hurt wrist, but nothing major. The car that pulled and out it broke the stopped. mirror on the on the bike. It tore one of the spark plugs out. Yeah, um, a little bit. Get in the tank, left a few scratches, not, but it, yeah. nothing that keeps it from riding. It was it was just a slide. Yeah, and it, it uh you know it has been my bike unofficially for uh, about a year and a half now, and yeah. I just like now it's been longer than that. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been in my garage forever. Yeah. My bike has spent more time in my garage. Actually, besides my bike, the other two bikes yeah. have spent most of their life just sitting in the garage looking pretty. So it's nice to see both of them start getting ridden because my son got his license, what, Christian got his license, what, about six months ago? And started riding his bike. So that Harley is now a daily rider for him. Yeah. And then mine's a daily rider for me. And we're trying to get his to where it'll be a ride, daily rider or a often ridden bike when he's home from Iraq. Yeah. Now, I'm a, I've already started putting money away each paycheck. I'm saving some money up to get, end up getting a, a better, you know, a, a, an everyday bike. Something that I can ride more comfortably long distances. Yeah, we're um, thinking, well, he's he thinking likes the, the Suzuki Boulevard. I like the Suzuki Boulevard. I think it's the uh, it's the boss. What is it, the 50, the M50 boss? I he think. has a little desire to eventually one day move into the Harley bracket, oh. but he doesn't want to do it until he's, he doesn't want to lay a Harley down yeah. and, and uh, I, I want the to damages the, and, and the cost of I want to get the Boulevard. I want to get it to, because I want, I want that intermediate bike. Well, and we also have a lot of rides that we have planned for the future, um, yeah. you know, that are long, that are like three, four day rides. And, you know, the shadow uh, is not, shadow's too not small. Your, your, your but, butt's going to kill you. But I also don't want to spend the money on a Harley that I'm pretty sure, uh, no, 100% something, it's going to get laid down eventually. So I'd rather lay down a boulevard where it won't, you know, and not, not a $25,000, $25,000 Harley. Yeah. Something to learn on intermediate where I can enjoy the longer rides, more comfortable. Yeah, that, so the boulevard is something that I want to save up for. And, um, I plan on, regardless of what it ends up being, I don't know exactly what it, maybe I'll save up and we'll get a great deal on a used Harley. I would grab that. But um, depending on what's going on, I mean, I plan on getting a new bike next year and have some fun with that. We have some big plans and I, I'm excited. Super excited.
Um, but yeah. I mean that's Sounds pretty good, much where man. we're at. Sounds man. good. All right. We got some good stuff. We got. Uh, we're going to be doing some barbecuing and some more smoking. Um, we're also going to be releasing an extra show at least every other week instead of just the every two week shows where we yeah. have a new show, a uh, little bit shorter, um, on our off week. Yeah, we're going to be trying to. Well, luckily, the one benefit of my air conditioning being out is once they freaking fix it, get it fixed. We're going to have an air conditioner in the garage. So even yes. when it's ungodly hot out there, we'll have an air conditioner and uh, yeah, we'll be able to start a smoking more a lot more. Yeah, it, when you're talking 98 degree real feel, uh, real feel outside and then you're sitting in a garage with just a, a shop fan that you it's, can't turn on high because the noise is too loud for the camera. Uh, it just, you just talking, drip sweat. And nobody wants to watch this you're talking two about fat men sit there smoking a cigar, dripping sweat. 110, 115 with like 95 I mean, we, keep, we keep that for our OnlyFans awesome. channel. Yeah, OnlyFans coming soon. Sweaty old men eating meat. Coming up. In the meantime. It's just going to be called Meat Sweats. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Yes. yes. All right. With that, we'll go ahead and close <laughs> off because uh, we want to go get our meat sweats on. So uh, remember, like, comment, subscribe. Um, if, that you, bell. if you have any places local in the in the Treasure Coast area, then, you know, coffee shops or so you want us to check or out, head us up in the comments. Me. We'll check them out and we'll uh, we'll mention them in the video. So uh, take it easy, guys. We'll catch you later. Later.